In our next talk of this mini series, we're going to talk about ground reaction forces and in particular vertical force. Now our swing catalyst plates can calculate vertical force so we can see how much force you're applying into the ground in a downward manner and how much force you get pumped back up off the ground through an equal and opposite reaction. Now this is really important especially from a club head speed perspective. So in the research we know one of the highest correlations to club head speed is how much vertical force you can create. Now what a lot of people fail to understand is the timing of your ground reaction forces could be argued to be more important than the actual amount of force you create in the first place. So again, let's use our long drive example because he is, like I said, one of the longest guys in the world. He uses the ground, as you'd expect, absolutely brilliantly. So this graph in this area here shows us how much vertical force he's creating. Now to give you an idea, the tour average is right in the middle of this darker colored band. So it's around about 160, 170% of your body weight. Now Kyle's reaching here, 268. So absolutely astronomical amounts of vertical force are being used. But again, one of the most important parts of this is the timing of this vertical force. You can see Kyle is only three quarter downswing here. So as he's coming into the ball, he's way created that vertical force. It's gone, it's now disappeared. And the chain reaction has gone all the way up. The force he's created through the ground, it's gone up through his pelvis, through his torso, through his shoulder, through the arm, and eventually into the club head. And that's why it's so important to create force early. Again, here's a bit more of a relatable example. Here's one of our uh, young golfers who's made some really good progress recently. And you can see again, creating a lot of vertical force early, so nowhere near as high as Kyle, 122%, 123 max, but you'll see the big key is how early he's peaked it. The club is nowhere near the ball. So he's got time to transfer this vertical energy from the ground up through the pelvis, through the torso, through the arm and into the club to give himself the most efficient speed possible. So at the ball, interestingly, he's front leg off the ground, really nice strike, and he's got rid of all of his vertical force. So ground reaction force is massively important, but the timing of them is equally as important. So if you'd like to know more about the force you create and the time in which it happens in your golf swing, and then get booked in and we'll have a look at what we can do for you.